So just wanted to make a quick NBA news and rumors video for you guys talking about James Harden and the Phoenix Suns this 2023 NBA offseason. Well, here on the screen is a tweet from NBA Central on Twitter, which says ESPN's Ramona Shelburne says, quote, keep your eye on James Harden to Phoenix, quote, uh, the Phoenix Suns don't wave Chris Paul unless they feel pretty good about somebody else. And I want you to keep your eye on James Harden. I don't want to report anything, uh, but that was in the wind for the past month or so. Uh, via ESPN LA um, and Liberty of Ballers. Now, uh, this is interesting news because yesterday it was a little bit of a surprise to me at least and probably to the rest of the NBA uh, fandom world out there that Chris Paul is going to be waived by the Phoenix Suns. Now, there still is a possibility that Chris Paul re-signs with the Suns on perhaps a cheaper contract or maybe he gets traded or whatever the case may be, but all signs point towards Chris Paul probably not returning to the Phoenix Suns this offseason uh, on top of DeAndre Eaton trade rumors and pretty big time changes. Changes, uh, will be made to the Phoenix Suns for the upcoming year. Now, James Harden, of course, uh, is a player that is going to opt out of his contract uh, with uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. All signs point towards James Harden probably taking his talents back to the Houston Rockets, signing a big time contract there. But if we look more into this, right, if Chris Paul is released, Ramona Shelburne's absolutely right. The Phoenix Suns must have a contingency plan or a plan B in place because you don't just release Chris Paul without knowing what you're going to do next. Now, there are some other players available potentially. Uh, for the Phoenix Suns, if they want to go uh, and explore free agency, a player like Fred Van Fleet uh, might be a, might not be a terrible fit in Phoenix. Also, too, though, if they want to go a little bit more higher end, I think James Harden's a player that's definitely going to command a lot of money and has that prior experience back in Brooklyn and Oklahoma City uh, with Kevin Durant. But perhaps having a big three uh, in Phoenix next year of James Harden, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant. That could very well be good enough to win this team a championship or at least go on a championship run, as opposed to what happened this year where they disappointingly lost in the second round to the Denver Nuggets. So I'll keep an eye on James Harden potentially taking his talents to Phoenix uh, to replace Chris Paul. I guess only time will tell, but if you're a Phoenix Suns fan or a basketball fan, leave all your thoughts down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.